This conference will now be recorded. Yes, good evening all of you. So today in Angular, we are going to discuss how to create our first application using Angular CLI, how to run our first application in Angular, and what is the basic flow of execution of our Angular application? What is the basic flow of execution of our Angular application? Right, so these are the topics creating Angular application. Okay. Next, how to run Angular application, application folder structure. Okay, or I can call this as something like basic flow of execution of angular application so these are the things what we are going to discuss today in this session so in the last session okay i'll have a just small revision of the last session right so in the last session we have seen what are the software prerequisites for our angular application okay so we have seen software requirements for angular application development okay so first one is node okay so you can download node from node.js.org you can install this next finish no need to do any changes or setting so after installation we have to verify this using the command node hyphen V yeah but before installing node first thing what we have to install is basic one a so node is the second one B so first we have to install visual studio code visual studio code which is an integrated development environment for our angular applications okay and after that in the terminal of the visual studio code we have to install the i mean we have to download and install the node or node js from the website and after installation in the visual studio code we have to verify it by using the command node hyphen v so right so i'll just open this visual studio code so click on view and go to the terminal okay now inside this terminal okay i'm going to go to our working directory so our working directory will be g colon angular online angular is it okay all of you all right so this will be our working directory so i'll write it here note so our working directory is g colon angular online so in that we are going to have it as angular so this will be our working directory so go to our working directory and type this command node hyphen v so this is the latest version of the node which is installed in my system right all of you right so after that whenever we install node along with that npm is also installed so npm is nothing but node package manager it helps us to install open javascript libraries into node modules into node directories okay and so that we can uh, develop our applications more effectively using those libraries in angular so if you want to download any third party libraries which are provided by different organizations we have to install it through npm so these libraries will be included into node modules modules is nothing but our packages or library so node is by default available with and npm is by default available with node so just go to terminal and type npm hyphen v 
and check it out okay so npm hyphen v in the terminal of visual studio code right so we can see here the npm version which is installed in my system is 6.9.0 right so next after that the fourth one is we should install angular cli okay so angular cli so cli stands for command line interface okay so cli stands for command line interface now using this command line interface we can develop our project folder structure in our system which is going to run on node server is it okay all of you right so it helps us in developing i mean it helps us in creating the project folder structure like for example if you take uh, netbeans whenever we create a web application or eclipse whenever we create a web application okay so all uh, even even in the like uh, visual studio also visual studio whenever you create a dotnet web application automatically you'll get the folder structure so that kind of folder structure is provided for our angular application and this is done with the help of angular cli and first to install angular cli we have to use the command npm install hyphen g at the rate angular forward slash cli so hyphen g indicates that we are going to install angular globally in our system so that we can uh, create our project in any folder any drive and we can run it from anywhere from any drive and any folder in our system this is it okay all of you next after installing this okay how to verify this so for verifying this we use ngv okay so in our system yesterday we have already installed npm install hyphen g at the rate angular by cli it is already installed in our system i'm not going to install it once again okay right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run the command ngv it will verify what is the version of the angular which is installed in our system right so we can see here ng v right so we can see the version of angular cli angular which is installed in our system which is 8.1 okay 8.1 it is installed in our system and uh, this angular cli is working on node 10.16 and our operating system is windows 64 bit operating system and these are the packages and their respective versions which are installed in our node modules okay right so this is what is all about uh, yesterday's session what are the software requirements for our angular application development using node in our visual studio code okay right so first one visual studio code second one node so third one npm and fourth one angular cli is it okay all of you command line interface now let's start with okay creating our first application in our system using terminal in visual studio code so what are the different commands which we require for that okay so the first command what we require is ng new okay so ng new followed by the application name so the application name what i'm going to use is first hyphen app it is not compulsory that we have to use this we can also use first app without any spaces and hyphen okay so so it is the command ng new so ng new is the command it will create a new application creates a new angular application okay and this will create complete folder structure it creates complete folder structure 
for our angular application okay and this folder structure will be created under our working directory okay so angular application folder structure is created in our working directory right so let's try to do this ng new first time it is not compulsory that we should have hyphen okay we can have without hyphen we can take caps letters we can take small letters we can take combination of both but note okay hyphen is not mandatory so let's go to the visual studio code so in the inside the visual studio code right terminal go to our working directory so our working directory is g colon angular online angular is the folder so under this folder i'm going to type ng new right so my first application is first hyphen app right just press enter okay right so it is asking us do you want to add routing angular routing module okay so basically we use this angular routing module for developing single page applications okay and the main use of angular is also single page application development you can say it as s y enter and next it is asking us which style sheet format would you like to use css scss sas less stylus is it okay of you so the standard uh, css which is supported for all the web application as per www world wide web console consortium is css we can use up arrow and down arrow if you can see here i'm using down arrow and up arrow to traverse to this okay uh, different options so select css using up arrow and down arrow and click on enter so css is the first selection what we have to do it using up arrow and down arrow okay and click on enter right so click on enter right so css so it is creating us complete folder structure if you can see here guys complete folder structure is getting created for our application so same like netbeans and eclipse for developing any web application uh, for developing any a uh, web service or for developing any enterprise application is it okay all of you now it will take some time because it is going to uh, add the modules or the packages which are required for our application from the uh, uh, node uh, provided server through the internet is it okay all of you so it will take some time depending on the speed of the internet so let's wait for that okay right so the best thing is that here we can see one of the important folder which is going to get created under first app src folder so this is like source packages or source file our working files will be under this particular src folder and next thing we can see here some of the important files under this okay which are nothing but our uh, component related files so app dot component dot ts this is where we write our typescript like so app dot component dot html app dot component dot css where we write our html and css code and next this is our main module which is nothing but app dot module dot ts and next we also have one more app dot component dot specs dot ts so this is used for testing purpose it is not required for us is it okay all of you right amit is it visible now So it will take some time depending on the, depending upon the speed of the internet also okay right yeah yeah sure I, I, I'll, I'll once again explain you all these things once it is get uh, loaded okay uh, completely 
I'll open the Explorer. I'll open the working directory also. I'll explain you each and everything. I'll also provide you notes for that. Okay. I have provided all the notes step by step of each and every folder and each and every important file which is required for us in developing Angular application. Okay, so let it get finished. Once again, I'll explain it. Right, all of you. It's almost all 50% of the application folder structure creation is done. Okay. So we can see the progress bar here at the down guys hope it is visible for you so 50 percent is completed and remaining 50 percent is has to be done it uh, depends on the speed of the internet okay Yeah, still it is getting downloaded. Right in the meantime, if you can see the status here. Right, this is one of the important folder SRC folder. Is it okay guys all of you? Which is going to create in under our application folder in our working directory and this folder contains five main files. First one module file and under that module you'll have the component file so in this component file we have our ts file typescript file next and for this component we are going to have a html file where we'll be writing our html code and css files for our styles and data and logic we are going to write it under component.ts and next we also have one more file component so this is mainly used for testing related okay content if you want to perform any unit testing related content we are going to do in that so that is uh, uh, not our concern as of now is it okay right but still it is taking some time okay for installation right yes so it has done complete installation for us. So it has taken almost all three minutes in my system. But if your internet speed is very good, it will take in less than two minutes also. Right. So if you can see here. Added 1078 packages from 1045 contributors and 17,111 packages in 340 seconds. Almost all it has taken five minutes plus. Right. Fine. Now let's try to for open this from our operating system. So go to my computer. Go to G colon. Angular online. Next angular folder and in this folder our application name is first hyphen app. So I'm going to create all our applications using hyphen. It is not compulsory that we have to create using hyphen only. You can create without hyphen, uppercase, lowercase, but without any spaces. Is it okay, all of you? Right. So first hyphen app. So under this, we have three important folders. Okay. One E to E, end to end, end to end. So this is not necessary for us. Node modules. Here we'll have all our packages which are necessary for our application development source. We are going to work with our logic under this source. Okay. And next we have package.json folder. Okay. So this package.json folder will give you information about what are the different packages which are 
uh, getting uh, used in our application and those packages are available under node modules and next we have karma.configuration file so this is one of the file which lets you to uh, write your test scripts and all those things to test scripts related configuration file using javascript is it okay guys all of you right so karma.conf is not necessary for us so we have three important things one okay node modules two right so two one is node modules this is important for us two is src as of now and three is package.json file is it okay of you right so let's try to open this in visual studio code right guys so what i'm going to do is in visual studio code okay i'll just minimize the terminal okay click on explorer option on the left side click on explorer option on the left side okay right or else you can go to view and you can click on explorer also we can go to view view menu and we can also click on explorer on the left uh, drop down menu so when you click on explorer okay so you'll be getting your uh, working directories available here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on file and say open folder so click on file and say open folder next you can open your first app my computer g colon angular online and then you can open your angular folder first hyphen app click on select folder right so your visual studio code will be reloading that completely in this explorer now here on the left side okay you can see the same folders one node modules two src and three package.json okay right guys so in package.json if you can double click this we can see what are the different packages which are getting used in our application okay these are the different packages animations common core forms router etc okay now all these packages i'll just close okay all these packages are available in node modules node module folders okay so under node module folders you will have the packages starting with at the rate symbol right guys and next coming to the src folder so under src folder okay so i'll just close this package.json from the right side okay so under src folder we have the first file which is very very important file okay uh right so we'll try to in, uh, understand this later uh, main.ts okay and next index.html and then our working directory which is app right guys for our, our working directory which is nothing but app so in that app you will have app.module.ts next uh, app.component.ts okay and then next app.component.html and app.component.css okay right all of you so these are some important files for working with our angular first application okay so from the right side of the visual studio code i'll just close all these files as of now okay right fine i'll just close all these files as of now right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on view and say here terminal right so if you can see here right i'll just move this explorer to the left side by clicking on the explorer option and next i'll just maximize the terminal now inside the terminal since our application is folder is already available in the explorer the terminal the terminal is by default opened at g colon angular online angular followed by first tab so from here what i'm going to do is okay so i'm going to run one command okay and that command is right so so we have to go to cd first tab to our working directory and then we have to 
run our application on angular live development server which is provided by not using ng serve using ng serve right i'll simply say here ng serve okay so when you say ng serve will be getting one home page so let's check it out what is that home page for our application first app Right, so it is compiling our application. So compiling our application means all our TypeScript is converted into JavaScript. Right, and our project will be running under this port number. And our port number is localhost 404200. Right, it has compiled successfully. So we can see the message here. Compiled successfully at the last. And it is also giving us one more message here angular live development server is listening okay uh, at port number 4200 so open your browser and go to http localhost 4200 is it okay all of you right so what i'm going to do is i'm just open the browser here okay so after opening the browser i'll just type here http okay so it is http right colon to forward slash localhost 4200 right so we can see here our first tab okay welcome to first tab this is what is getting displayed in the browser page is it okay all of you right so let's get back to the visual studio code okay uh, i'll just minimize the terminal here I'll open the Explorer now in the Explorer. What exactly is happening? I'll tell you now. Okay. Right. So first of all our program or our uh, starting point of our application here is main.ts. It is main.ts, right? So main.ts. Okay. I'll just minimize the terminal here on the right side. So in the main dot ts, okay. So we have some one one option here. At, uh, we have one for method here at the down platform browser dynamic method bootstrap module app module. So app module is nothing but our root module. Okay. So in Angular, we are going to develop everything in the form of module and components. So components are building blocks of our angular application so this main.ts is saying that you have to start your application from app dot module okay and display app dot module content in index dot html okay this is our index dot html okay so inside this index dot html uh, under the body we have app root so this is our root component tag this is our root component tag. Okay, so let's go to SRC folder here. Right. If you go to the SRC folder here, under that we have here app. So app is nothing but our root component. So first, this root component is the root module, and that root module is app dot module dot ts, which is available on the left side. Okay. So this is our app module. So if we, if we just get back to main.ts in main.ts It is saying that our application should start from app module Okay, and if you go to app module dot ts here if you can see here At the down we have an option bootstrap. So bootstrap means kickstart starting point is app component Okay and under this app component if you go here src folder app dot component dot ts okay so let's open this so in app dot component dot ts we have one class so inside this class we are going to write our data members data variables and methods which will help us to work with data and functionality in our <coughs> web page and for this web page <clears throat> the template is 
the web page or the HTML file is app.component.html and its corresponding CSS file for writing our HTML content and CSS. Okay, and for this the selector is app root. So this app root we have used it in index.html as a custom tag our own tag understood this all of you so in index.html our application will start from app root and this app root is a selector or a tag okay which is defined in app.component.ts which is our root component with this html file and css is it okay all of you right so this is what is happening okay with our index.html which contains app root as the custom tag for our component and our component is okay defined under this module okay in main.ts in main.ts start your application from root module which is app module so if you go to app.module.ts under source folder it is saying that under this module you have to start your application bootstrap means starting point app component so app component corresponding file is app.component.ts and in app.component.ts we have this selector using this selector in index.html it is going to discuss app.component.html and app.component.cs so let's go to app.component.html so in app.component.html here we have one division we don't have any body tag and html tag those are already defined in index.html so under this division we have an h1 welcome to title and this title is a variable in our in your component class so let's go to app.component.ts so here the title is first app this is getting displayed in the browser window as a welcome message so this is your first view in your root component which is app.component.ts under your root module which is app.module.ts and after that we have this logo and some other links okay right and this is the title okay which is a title which is a property in our app component class is it okay all of you right so next for this this is the corresponding view app.component.html after that we have this image and we have some other links here now I've just removed all these links here okay just I'll just uh, say cut here remove all these links save here automatically come to the browser here we can see here all these links are removed from the bottom now once again I'll just say control Z paste all these links from in our app.component.html save it come to the browser automatically no need to say refresh we'll be getting all these links here okay right so this is what is the basic flow of execution for our first application in angular is it okay all of you right so ng new first app go to your first app folder and ng serve okay so angular live development server will open your application in your system under a port number 4200 which is provided by node okay right so this is what is all about okay angular running under angular live development server at http localhost 4200 open the browser and type the above url to see the first half home page okay so first hyphen app is our application name is it okay guys all of you right so these are some basic commands what we are going to use okay for creating and running our application first one ng new followed by new application name ng serve for compiling and running our application on node server ng generate we are going to use this in the future for generating 
components services pipes routes etc right guys so this is what is all about working with our angular application so tomorrow i'm going to discuss what is the basic flow of execution okay of this application okay uh, with a small uh, uh, diagram also then you'll get clear understanding what exactly is happening in our angular application from where it is kick starting so right so in today's session okay guys we have discussed how to work with creating first angular application how to run it what is the basic flow of execution of angular application for displaying the home page or index.html page using modules and components so tomorrow once again i'm going to explain you the clear understanding of flow of execution of each and every directory structure also so that's all what about today's session guys okay right just go through the video when i once i upload it to the google drive for sharing and let me know if you have any queries so thank you all of you for listening to this session